All right, next up, the Murray State Hall of Fame is proud to present our next inductee, former racer football kicker, Shane Andrus. Two of Murray State's most memorable plays have happened just in the last 20 years. All of the history of Murray State Athletics, two plays in the past 20 years, the kick and the shot. We know about 2010, Tenero Thomas from the right wing makes the shot, extends the stay in San Jose, and they beat Vanderbilt. And before the shot, we know there was the kick. In 2002, it was Andrus' 52-yard field goal on the final play that delivered the Racers its eighth Ohio Valley Conference Championship. Andrus with a kick, Thomas with a shot. Shane was part of the great history of Murray High School, producing great kickers for the racers. Kicking stars including Chris Deal, Greg Miller, and Gary Crass. He was named All-OVC 2001 and 2002, and was named an All-American in 2001. Great perseverance kept Shane with the desire to kick in the NFL, and in 2006, he got his first chance with the Indianapolis Colts. He later kicked for the New York Giants, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, San Francisco 49ers, and the NFL European League. Today, Shane gives back to the game by teaching punting and kicking to young players. It all started in Murray, and tonight Shane Andrus becomes a Hall of Famer. So now please welcome a Hall of Famer in his own right to present Shane Andrews, St. Andrews, Rick Fisher to the stage. Rick, would you come up and uh, present Shane? <clears throat> Thank you very much. I will say all four or five of those people you said were kickers were also Murray High School kickers. <laughs> so we put quite a few of them through college. When Shane approached me about being the presenter, it was with great honor and privilege that I decided to do that. For I was his high school football coach. <clears throat> As a high school football coach, it's your job to be a leader of boys and a maker of men. And like many of the coaches said before, it's the relationships that you build that last a lifetime. And my relationship with Shane has certainly done that. Very proud of him and what he's accomplished and great success in the future. Um, we all know the things that Shane did at Murray State, but let me kind of take you back and tell you how it all started for him. He was a high school soccer all-state player. He didn't grow up being a football player. He grew up being a soccer player. Well, I needed a kicker, and so I went to Shane and kind of made a, made a deal with Shane to come out for football. I saw in Shane a lot of great things. Uh, he was a hard worker, dedicated person. He had the heart of a champion, and one of the biggest things that he had, he had one of the most competitive edges I've ever seen in a, in a young player. He refused to lose. He would do anything he could do to, to win. He was such a great athlete that he could beat you in just about anything. It didn't matter if it was ping pong or, or golf or whatever. He could beat you. And if he couldn't beat you, he would continue to work till he could. Okay, so I kind of made a deal with Shane to come out because I knew if I could just get him out for, to be a kicker, that his competitive edge would soon take place and he'd want to be a player. And a player is what he became. His junior and senior year, his senior year, he played both sides of the football for me as a safety and a receiver. And at one time, during his senior year, he was the leading receiver in the state of Kentucky and scored 18 touchdowns. So I gained a great kicker and a great friend through the years, and it was a great honor that he asked me to present him today. <clears throat> Shane was known for his kicking ability, and I can remember when we went in the spring practice being the great kicking coach that I was, I gave him a bag of shag balls. You go down the other end and you try to work this on your own, and uh, we're going to do some offense on the other end. But our coaches had their back to Shane, and we could actually hear him kick before we ever saw him kick. 
He had such a great leg, such a powerful leg. This went on to get him to where he's at today. He signed a scholarship with the University of Kentucky and later came back to Murray State, which was our great benefit here at Murray State to have him. He, like I said before, he went on and played several years in the NFL, but what he's known mostly for is the kick. A Tony Romo Eastern Kentucky team came to Murray State to try to win an OVC championship, and on the last play of the game, Shane kicked a 52-yard field goal that won us our eighth OVC championship at Murray State. I'm very honored at this time to present to you Shane Andrews. thank Coach Fisher enough. Um, I do have a story though about uh, my, my potential as a football player. So I was walking the halls as a, as a freshman in high school actually. I was about 5'8", 140 Logan in high, in high school. But yeah, no. But uh, anyways, he said, man, you, you can come out and play football. And uh, no, I'm all right. I don't, I don't, I'm all right. I played baseball and soccer and uh, basketball and and, but coach, come on, Shane, you know, I, I see something in you. I said, all right, I'll come out. So uh, freshman year, I was behind Greg Miller, which is a great kicker at Murray State uh, and, and Murray High, too. So um, he, we were killing the team, um, and I was a kicker by the heater. So at that time, if there was a heater over there and it was cold, I was sitting by it. So I wasn't much of a player. Uh, I was just admiring what was going on on the field. So. Uh, Shane, get in there. All, all right, coach. So we're up 50 nothing. I said, all right. Um, wasn't prepared at all. But uh, so I get thrown in there, kick an extra point. Um, I'm, I'm pumped up. You know, I'm like, all right, yeah. So I got to go kick off. Um, sure enough, I kick off and I look around and I don't know if our players left the field or what, but it was me standing in the middle with this big running runner coming right at me. And I, and I tell you what I did. I hopped on his back because I never knew how to tackle anybody. He rode me about 10 yards. And uh, I had three or four players knock me, and we finally got him down. My helmet was crooked. I came, I came off the field thinking, like, I'd never play this game again, Coach. And uh, so my first experience was, was, was quite uh, one of those that I look back, and I'm like, if Coach kept on me. He, he, he saw potential in me. And, uh, you know, I'm so thankful that he did. And I truly admire him for following my career. Um, you know, even after Murray State, uh, he was – when I was playing in the NFL, he came to a couple of NFL games. Um, so I really appreciate, uh, appreciate Coach uh, a lot. Thank you for introducing me tonight. Um, I kind of want to highlight something real quick before uh, he goes to sleep or has to go. Um, my little boy right there with a the little sucker in a, in a ring. He said he wanted like daddy's, daddy's ring. And uh, so, you know, I'm blessed. I'm from Murray. Um, and, and, and we're currently living here now. Um, you know, it's, it's a blessing to have him here right now. I know he doesn't know what's going on, um, and he's, look, he's not even looking at me. Um, but, but that's okay, um, because, you know, we'll, we'll, this is a memory I'll cherish uh, the rest of my life. Um, and one day he'll ask Dad, he'll probably say, you know, what, what's the Hall of Fame? You know, what, what, how'd you get in? And, and, and that's a time I, I, I think that I'll look back and think, you know, that's a teaching moment for me. That, that's... That's going through uh, adversity, all the people that help me in life. Um, and that's going to be a great defining moment for me to, to really uh, grow up with him and, and, and show him how, how it happened. So, um, and Lindsay, she's the best mom to our baby boy. We actually have another one on the way. So we have another, another boy on the way. So <laughs> thank you. So we're raising, uh, we're going to raise two little boys in Murray. Um, I'm forever grateful for her. She was an Indiana Hoosier. So I won't hold that against her, but she, she decided to move to Murray and uh, raise a family here. So I'm blessed, uh, blessed, blessed to have her uh, in my life. Um, I want to start and thank individuals that, that had a huge impact on my career. Um, and, and without these individuals, uh, you know, it's definitely not possible for me to be here tonight. Um, I want to point out my dad first. Um, we, were, we grew up racer fans. so. 
I would say I was five, six years old when I started remembering games and, and kind of going with my dad. And, you know, we'd get in his little B2000 truck and cruise on to Race Arena. And those times I cherish so much. Uh, listening to Neil Bradley on the way home, uh, checking the, after Race Arena, Ken Purcell used to write down the, the you know, little stats, right? That's what, yeah. So we'd go down there. Um, you know, and all those little memories was just bonding us so, so much. Um, and, and I'm so blessed that, you know, that, we, that he took me to those games. Um, and he, he's, he's the hardest working man I know. He's 75, still working too much. Uh, I try to tell him he's retired. Uh, but he just, he just works, and, and that's where I, I, I got that hard, uh, that work ethic. Um, so I appreciate everything you've done for me. And, um, you know, when I was a little kid, we, I said, Dad, let's go, let's go play ball, let's go, you know, uh, play baseball, soccer. He'd be the first to do it, um, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for him um, that he's able to do that. A funny story, I'm playing soccer. He actually was our coach. Um, he knew nothing about soccer, but that just to shows you what kind of person he was. Um, and he ended up, one day, I, I, and I was getting old enough to kind of know how to play the game a little bit, and he... Uh, and I said, Dad, why in the heck are you heading a ball on top of your head, your bald head? And it would go straight up in the air. And I said, you're supposed to head it right here, you know, and do that. So that was one of those stories that I always remember just because I'm like, you know, I knew now I look back at it. And I'm like, I'm so thankful that he, he did it for me and he was there for me. So thank you. Uh, my mom, Martha. So she's where I get my fire, kind of my, my type A personality, um, you know, want to win, want to be competitive. Um, and, and she's accomplished so much in her life. Uh, she was president of the Women's Club here, um, owned a business, uh, ran charity events, which she's still doing. Um, and, and you know, her, her deal, she would go over and beyond uh, whatever she had uh, in her sights. So I, I'm blessed and, I, and I, I thank you for that and I've truly admired you all these years. Um, my brother, so he was, he was more of the brains. I, I was definitely, he was, I was more of the athlete, but we had a seven year age difference. And uh, you know, I was probably 10, 11 years old. And he was a senior in high school, but he was winning academic awards, um, you know, doing real well. And at an early age, you know, I see that success in a family. You tend to kind of roll with that and, and want to be good at your craft too. So I thank him for being a great big brother. Um, Cindy, she, was, she came around whenever I was uh, in college and stepmom, and she, and she was so supportive and, and took me in as, as, as I was her own. So thank you for being supportive. Um, my friends, some of them are here. Um, they know I'm a knucklehead. Um, most of them do, but, but I appreciate a lot of them here tonight. Um, that truly means a lot. Um, they always say you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. I always truly believe that, and I've always been, been surrounded by some great friends. I have some family members here too that I haven't seen in forever. Um, and cousins and a great aunt, uh, and I, I couldn't be proud uh, to see them, and I appreciate you coming tonight. So all my teammates, so I have a few here tonight, um, and they're gonna stand, okay? All right, uh, William Razanen was my, my snapper. There he is. Brian Bivens was my holder, and Gary, Gary Crass was, uh, he was a kicker behind me, um, grew up down the road. So. I was fortunate enough to play in the NFL, and yeah, that... so like I said, they, what, what Coach said earlier, I, I was lucky enough to play in the NFL, and uh, you know, in a snap hold kick, it's 1.25 seconds, so you think it's got to roll fast, got to be a good hold, and it makes my job easy when the ball is placed in a good position. Well, in the NFL, I probably played in 30 to 40 games, and I bet I had legit four or five bad operations. I mean, there was a little, a little tweak in the snap. The hold would have some laces in it. Some wasn't particularly right. Um, and that's, ha that, that's gonna happen, nobody's perfect. But those guys right there, and I'm not making it up, they were perfect every single time for two years. I never had any bad situation with them. They worked hard, and I, I couldn't be proud to have those guys, because if I didn't, then, you know, I, I might not be standing here, because the whole operation has to work. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. Um, and, and of course, that kick, the final kick, it was pressure for them too. Uh, we, we had to make one kick and you know, they, I know they were feeling pressure as well. So uh, thank you. Coach Penunzio and his staff. So he came and 
welcomed me from uh, Kentucky, and he actually said you can walk on and earn a spot. Um, and you know, I ended up winning a spot, and, and I kind of look back and I, at his leadership and compared to some of those I've had later in life, and, and I admire what he did. So we started one and three on the year, uh, that 2002 team. Um, we had a bunch of junior college guys, D1 transfers, um, and then we had some established guys on the team too. So when you take a bunch of guys, especially a football team, and put them all together, and you got a, you know, about a six month window there in training camp, to get everything right, you know, it's gonna, it's, it's tough. You know, you gotta lead a team, you gotta lead a bunch of men that, you know, are somewhat, somewhat out there, you know, you're a bunch of football guys. So, um, he did it, you know, he could lead that locker room. Um, and he was a great coach, a great leader, and I appreciate his uh, giving me that opportunity. This, this ring right here says relentless. That was, that was the one word that we started at the beginning of the year, and it's, it, it basically means, which means those who stop at nothing to get the end result. And that's exactly what we did. You know, we, we came together and won five, five in a row at the end of the year, um, and, and we did, you know, as a team, we won the conference. So um, um, his staff also was, was, was great. Um, I want to make sure that, that I tell this story too because it's, it's a pretty good one. But, you know, the pressure in practice versus a game, you know, as a kicker, you can't really simulate that either. Um, so what he did for practice is he took, the, we had six kicks basically beginning of practice. And the last one, if I missed it, the specialist had to go run in our pads to Sonic, Burger King, or somewhere at like 3 o'clock. So, Imagine driving down the road and seeing three knuckleheads and football pads, you know, running, you know, and Bivens was always the first one. I was the last because I was peeved off, you know. So that taught me, though, I look back on that story, though, I'm like, you know, it was for a reason. And obviously the pressure that, that, that I, you know, faced there, you know, I didn't want to miss, you know, that kick was that kick. You get one opportunity in life and, 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 and that kick, you know, you either make it or miss it in, in my position. So. I was fortunate, um, you know, to, to, to have that in his leadership. The Murray State Athletics uh, Hall of Fame, thank you. Um, what a great honor, uh, Murray boy, uh, getting into the Murray State Hall of Fame. I, I never could have dreamed it. I was a, you know, I was a ball boy over in Race Arena when I was probably six or seven. Um, you know, like I told you earlier, we were, I grew up on it. And, you know, thinking then, you know, or just growing up in Murray, thinking, you know, one day I'll be standing here as a Hall of Famer. Um, you know, what a, what a dream come true. Um, you know, thanks to Dave Wander for organizing, Kevin, Kevin Saltz, President Jackson, everybody for leading this university. And I'm, I'm thankful that I'm still living here and, um, you know, I'm blessed to be surrounded by great people. So I wanted to, Dave thought it would be good to share kind of the OVC championship, kind of what, what the, like the final minute, kind of what I was thinking, what was said, what was going through my mind. Uh, kind of what happened in the team. Um, so we were down one with 30 seconds left. So Tony Romo drove the ball um, and, we, and they went up one. So they went for two and didn't get it. At that time, I went to the kicking net. Uh, we still had to go 40 or 50 yards to, to get in range for me to kick a ball. But I went in that kicking net and I, and I, I just sat there and zoned out. I was, I was kind of Mentally, I knew the team was going to get us down there and I was going to have to kick a ball. That's before we even got the ball. Um, so what happened, Stuart Childress threw to Marcus Christian, uh, I think down the sideline for 30, 30 yards or so. There's tape down there. Um, and then coach called timeout, looked at me and said, how many yards do you need? And I don't even remember saying anything, honestly. Dave knows and coach knows. Coach tells that story. And, uh, and I'll kind of put it in kid-friendly language, I guess, uh, what, what was said. But anyways, um, I said it five yards, uh, five yards, and I think it would have put, put me like 55 or something. I was hitting 60, 65 in practice, or before the game, and I was confident, you know, I was ready. Um, and he got five yards, uh, and, and, and he sent me out there, and once again, the snap was perfect, uh, the hold was perfect, and fortunate to make it. Um, for those guys, and I tell you what, that's the best feeling in the world, seeing a bunch of guys that work hard in the trenches, and man, I'm just out there kicking a football, you know, and I'm like, you know, what, what's, what is my job? I feel like I'm a closer in a pitcher position. Like, if, you know, you see a pitcher come in and close the game, you know, you want to, what's up, Brady Buck? <laughs> 
And you, you know, you, you, you think like, hey, I wanna, you know, I wanna finish this for these guys. And I worked all year, I worked my butt off. You know, I, I came here and, and uh, transferred in and, and just to see that end result, that final play go in, it wasn't about me, it was about those guys in that locker room, those coaches, because we, we had it, you know, we, we, we came together as a team um, and it was all, all worth it. So when I kicked the ball, it, I knew as soon as I hit it, it was, go, it was in. And I mean, as soon as I kicked it, I sprinted, I sprinted to the other side, other, other end zone. Bivens halfway, look, you're looking at it, look, and everybody's looking, and I'm halfway down there because I know it's good, yelling. Uh, so I'm, I'm running down there, and uh, man, I, almost, I get tackled by, you know, with a bunch of players on, on the pile, and I'm at the bottom, and I got about six Eric Kriglers on top of me, <laughs> and about 20 other linebackers. And I'm thinking, I'm about, I'm about passed out, but I'll tell you what, it, I'd do it again right now. I'd, I'd do it again. So I'm thankful uh, for this. Um, it truly means the world to me. I'm a Murray boy. I grew up, Marcus doesn't remember, but I was, he was my coach when I, was, when I was like eight years old in basketball. <laughs> you, and some of these, like Vincent Rainey, I used to watch him, watch him in middle school. Uh, to Vester, I knew, I knew, I was in, I was in college, I knew all his players, uh, you know, an unbelievable recruiter, um, you know, so I'm just honored, man, I got, I, I can go on, I know the only person that can beat me in race or trivia is Neil Bradley, anybody, he, he's, he knows everything about Murray and he's good at trivia, but I'm pretty good, I've had a long history at, at Murray, and, you know, I wouldn't change it for the world, I love this community, I love the people in it, um, you know, and I'm super blessed, and I, and I thank God every day, um, that, that, you know, have a great family that's still here. Um, and, and I appreciate everything. And uh, thank you very much. Go Racers.